Evening and welcome once again to Gaming Under the Influence. I'm Mike and this is Alex and we're coming to you from Green Dragon CVR in Woodbridge, Ontario. The only place you'll find the latest games to play and purchase alongside over 100 kinds of Ontario craft beer. And, uh, <sighs> you know, we can uh, sit back this week enjoying our uh, Pilsner and Imperial Stout respectively oh, yeah. and uh, watch the dumpster fire <laughs> that is Google Stadia. <laughs> Google Stadia. And, uh, you know... I couldn't wait for it to come out just to fucking shit on it, basically. <laughs> it's not great to kick a man when he's down, but thankfully Stadia is not a man. Good and thing, Phil yeah. Harrison looks like an alien, so I think we're safe. <laughs> He really does look funny. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor fucking... Oh, man. You know, in, uh, in Trailer Park Boys, Ricky's like, fucking Trevor, you look like a fucking alien with <laughs> garbage scooping arms, you know? Phil <laughs> Harrison, three for three now. Yeah, three for three, Phil, console launches. console launches. As much as we console. love the PlayStation 3 and... Uh, yeah. PlayStation 3, uh, I, I, I didn't quite love it that much, to be honest with you. Really? I didn't buy any games on that except for exclusives. That was like my... That's true. That was my Xbox One of that generation, you know? You're right. That, at that time, the yeah. Xbox 360 was the yeah. was the superior console yeah. and until later in the lifespan. But it was mostly, yeah. like you said, due to exclusives yeah. as opposed to... They didn't have the same like kind of exclusives back then on PS... Uh, on PS3, it I don't was think, like at least not for me. A, it was kind of a, a lull. They were like Western focused. Like, yeah, the they Last were like those, of Us, yeah, and fucking yeah. PlayStation All Stars, yeah. Even the Kill Zones, yeah, I guess, exactly, right? yeah, yeah. This well, gen it was different. Two and three, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. A lot of weirder shit. Yeah, they went in a weird direction. Yeah, MGS3 Four, I guess, but I didn't even play that one to be honest with no? you. No, oh, I love Metal Gear Solid Four. Yeah, was it good? Oh yeah, it's. Um, I mean, it doesn't really hold the candle. To like titles like two and three, but it was more of like a fan service thing. They sure. they sort of tied up a lot of loose ends. They, yeah. I heard Kojima took a backseat on that one too. Is that the case? Um, or rather, I less think there direct. were rumors that he was. But if I remember correctly, he said something like he wasn't going to be directing four, but it was all like a hoax. And then he <laughs> <laughs> released the trailer saying that boom, director directed by Hideo Kojima. If I remember, mm. I. A while ago now at this point, but yeah, I mean, I love PlayStation Three, but coming off of the PS Two, it was kind of underwhelming, yeah, and, yeah. and PS Four was sort of like a, a somewhat of a return to form, right? I think so. At For least them. in the sense that the library is as filled out now at this stage yeah. as the PS Two is at this mm -hmm. point in the life. Yeah, cycle. it feels like it, eh? even yeah. though it might not be just as much. Maybe like not as, sheer quantity. But exactly. Like, yeah. yeah, but it feels as quality and, yeah, and as that's good, right. right? Yeah. Nice diverse spread of uh, of games. You got a fucking you know. In 2019, like, what could you ask for from a console after it's uh, about to, to finish its life cycle? Mm -hmm. you, you got an exclusive from all of the big developers that yeah, exist, Sony's, essentially, Sony's right now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He you knows not on top of it? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Phil I Harrison know. and uh, <laughs> Google Stadia. Oh, buddy. Shitty, stupid launch of that garbage gaming yeah. server. Yeah, that's uh, it's hilarious, man. Uh, I think, though, you know, oh, why I brought that up, actually, is this, this push to, quote-unquote, make games for everybody that... Uh, the other Phil seems to be talking about a lot lately, and Phil, Phil Harrison and, and, and yeah, and, and you know Stadia seem to have imbibed. Like I don't oh, fucking sure. you know from a business perspective, you know if you're looking at people as consumers, then that's a great idea. Oh, from course. the perspective want... of games, like the things made, you know if they're going to be yeah. good or beautiful yeah. in themselves, that's it fucking absolutely that. antithetical to that to yeah. that goal, right? Yeah. Like entirely, you know. Oh, a hundred percent. This year is a perfect example of why something made for everyone would be shit. All the yeah, best exactly. things made this year, people complained about how it wasn't for them mm -hmm. in one way or another, right? It's true. Secure easy mode, right yeah. from the... Yeah. That was relatively early in the year. Like, what was it? This one's not easy enough for me. This one, the protagonist's not the right color for me. This one, the fucking... You know it's too me? much walking for me, you know? Yeah. Pokemon gets slammed for being easy, and Sekiro gets slammed for being hard. Like... I guess, though, like... The, that, that, at the end of the day, you can't win. That's, that's you know? exactly what... I guess, though, you know, things should be such that they have distinct identities, right? That's what I'm everything saying. Everything is yeah. not for everybody, because then if it was, everything would be the same fucking thing. Exactly. You know? It would all be gray and drab. God, why would you want yeah. that? Like, I love easy games. I would never play a, a regular game on hard, but I don't want Dark Souls to be easy. Who the fuck wants no, that? Go play something else then, you know? That, that's that's what it excels in, right? That's its strength. The difficulty is, is ingrained in the in the title, right? It's yeah. That's sort of one of the things they focus on. Yeah. Right. I think it's it's part yeah. yeah it's part of its DNA it's exactly, a proper yeah. accident of the thing yeah exactly yeah man uh, and Pokemon I mean I don't know I think people exaggerate when they say it's easy it can be easy but at the same time I've died to you know 
I don't know. To me, that's no different than saying it's, it's purple or fucking red. It's like, yeah. okay, but you got to qualify that to make it mean anything at the end of the day. On its own, in a vacuum, that's a meaningless statement. So that's true. why should it be harder, right? So we can sit there for 15 years and tell people on the internet that we've been, that we're quote unquote Pokemon veterans. And yeah, fucking, <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. Post I, a pic I, of I, your... I don't play those games to sweat like it, you do. You would in a Dark Souls or a Skiro or whatever, yeah. right? You play it to, to go through the motions and, you know, Catch a diverse cast of so. characters in Pokemon that you can I think build in, a party of six with. In any case, things aren't necessarily fucking... Things that don't resist you are not necessarily easy or not necessarily bad, right? Like, yeah. The fun can come from decision-making from other and choices yeah, yeah. rather than, you know, the resistance I, the thing offers you, right? Man, in my fucking mind, the Pokemon games are like just a... Uh, it's okay. It it It's like a just the diversity of building a party with all the all the options you have available like there's tons of pokemon mm-hmm. even after the roster cut there's still like 400 and something which just building a party of you know what i mean because you need a balanced team with different strengths and weaknesses all that shit and it's just the options there are astounding like you you know if we went through the game and and compared our parties and stuff it would be probably, yeah. yeah totally different i yeah Unless we're overlearned like in it the meta, me, yeah. right? Is because I go through the game and I sort of just catch whatever I think is cool, and then I'll swap guys in and out on the fly, and just I, I let my party sort of naturally evolve. Whereas one of my buddies was talking to me yesterday, he sort of sets out to have a like a party. He has, he has like an idea in mind of which guys he's gonna pick. He sort of pre-plans it. Mm-hmm. Whereas the fun for me is letting it naturally evolve. Like if I encounter something I think is cool catch it and then i'll see where i can fit it in some somebody else out and if i don't like it i can switch back like i just uh, that's how i play them it's for that's me a, that's that's a, that's that's a, a cool fun, point right? actually you yeah. know maybe it, it highlights something that's unique to the pokemon games yeah other games maybe approximate this diversity in um you know party composition mm-hmm. like by having you know different specifications that each or different specialities that party members can uh, fucking under t- like Different things that party members can specialize yeah. in. You know, you play Dragon Quest Eleven. Each character has three different things. Final Fantasy Nine. Oh, yeah, I sure, or Octopath. Or, yeah, or Octopath. Yeah, yeah, yeah but exactly. But Pokemon makes it such that each Pokemon is a specialization, and on top yes. of that, the variety There's a vast is unparalleled. Of, right? like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the real like thing that it specializes in, I guess, compared to other RPGs, is party comp. Like, would you say that party that's composition? Com- yeah, that, that's what that I'm saying. Pokemon I, that's is a game what of party I composition. Right? Love. I love yeah. playing. Like, I when I earlier. In my, I guess, Pokemon history of playing the game, I would always, I was more rigid with the party, and I would always try to just catch like the guys I liked and stuff mm-hmm. like that, right? But then as I, I started playing them over the years, I, I sort of adopted this this way of doing it, right? Where you would just, I would just catch, I catch a lot. I tend to catch a ton, even if I have no intention of using them, just to, you know, I don't know, whatever. Part of the fun okay, of it, right? right now, yeah. And then. I have that option, right, of just subbing guys in and I experiment, right? And it's just, it's kind of like you said, it, a very big part of it for me is just the party composition is I messing with that, right? I feel like it's sick. Yeah. I, I like that too. Yeah, I like it. I feel like I want Something to find the apex different. predator when I in, play Pokemon, you know what I mean? Like I want to, f- I, I too like the party composition, but the mm-hmm. fun is more in like reducing things to principles and finding ways to head off fucking all of the different possible complications, right? Like reducing it to the minimum viable number of uh, efficient party members yeah I like see that's that, you know but you know what that's the fucking cool part about it, is the way they're designed now with the xp share they they seem more finely <laughs> tuned that if that's the way you want to play it is viable and it, it is, will yeah. work you can go through the game with two or three party members if sure. you want i like having six hey, and just it. switching in and out and fucking around with Shit, it right? i'd argue like before it was even thing. more like you do whatever you want it was more yeah. simple to play them before with one or two pokemon because you know, if you didn't divide uh, the experience as much, then you'd have a couple of guys that even if they were weak against something, they're twenty levels higher. They're still, they yeah, can, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Steamroll them, but But now now because they're the way I see it now is because there's XP share. Yeah. If you don't fill up all six, you're just wasting XP yeah. technically, right? Yeah, because even yeah. if even if you don't use some of the Pokemon. So if you have five Pokemon or six, up. everybody still gets the same amount of XP from I a think battle. So because yeah. it's shared. You know what? I haven't actually I always thought it was like, uh, but I'm not sure either, but it would be good to find out, right? Yeah, like, is it, it such nice, that yeah. like each Pokemon, say, this guy you beat, it gives you a thousand, and then it's split up by however many I people think, in your party? And I could be totally fucking wrong, but I think the way it works is, let's say you get 100 XP, 
on your main guy, then it shares 50 to each other Pokemon in your party. So Even if you have one. it takes half of what the, the Pokemon that battled got. And gives it to everybody else. And gives it to everybody else, yes. Yeah. Whether it's one or I four see. more or five okay. more or whatever. That's good. Yeah, I think that's how it works. But I could be wrong. We should probably test that out later. Just out of sheer curiosity. I yeah. And I think that uh, this, you know, speaks to like a, at least a, an intuitive awareness. <laughs> Excuse me. On the part of the developers that party composition is a strength in their game yeah. and such, mm -hmm. such that they didn't want to like impede people's ability to compose their party with fucking grinding, you know? That's the thing, right? Because if you play the earlier games, you it, it was more... It was sort of more uh, structured towards sticking with a party. It's harder it's to sub a guy to, in. Yeah, yeah, it's you'd have to you know, you would have to grind more to yeah. sort of yeah, I like that. You know, but yeah, Stadia. Fuck, we got a uh, slightly off track there, eh? Like, uh, I I of course haven't played it myself. I know you haven't played it yourself. Stadia? No, I would. I hope never. to never play it myself. Oh no, no, no. But uh, a lot of people like you know Jason Schreier, Forbes magazine, etc. Inside gaming, they're well, all yeah. Most of the most of the sites got yeah. you know the Washington like, Post. They, they got a, a review yeah. copy or a yeah. review. They all have some pretty funny videos of them like uh, sitting there at the yeah. computer, like pressing a button. Yeah, second goes by and yeah, yeah. the character reacts. I mean, that yeah. was naturally going to yeah. happen. Naturally, the, yeah. of course, whether yeah. or not it can be better, yeah. that was always going to happen due yeah. to you know yeah. launch date. Yeah. yeah, everyone's fucking with it, right? Yeah. It's just these grandiose statements these fucking guys are making. Like, <laughs> give me a break. That's another problem, man. Just, eh? just yeah. shut the hell up. You know? That's how it is, though, yeah. right? That's yeah. a typical Phil Harrison uh, yeah. console launch, yeah. you know? See, like, uh, we're promise, uh, under deliver. That's... Front page of N4G, one of the first articles is Stadia's game prices are absolutely bonkers. And yeah. Certainly we can agree with that. Like, many people have raised this question, like, who is this for, you know? Who is it for? The, somebody that's not willing to spend three or $400 on a console, but's willing to spend 130 on a controller and a Chromecast. Yeah, I mean, that is that is probably the biggest question for Stadia. Is like, who the fuck is this for? Is I it don't know for gamers who don't buy consoles? How many gamers do you know who don't buy yeah. consoles? Who also want to play Red Dead but don't own a console? Like, yeah, do you like even know what that is if you don't have a console? Sense. Probably not, right? Yeah, yeah, right. I doubt it. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's a fucking. It's stuck in a hard, in a like a rock in a hard place, yeah. but it, it's entirely. If you're going to go for, Default. like, you know, mediocre experience and cater to convenience, then you have to be convenient, right? You got to fucking offer people a bevy of things to access for one price. You got to make it so that it works right away so there's none of this right. bullshit. Right, like, it is convenient in the sense that you can play it on multiple screens in your house, but... But it's like inconvenient you said, in the sense that what, what the hell? That <laughs> you got to go buy each game and fucking go through all That's, this bullshit yeah, just exactly. to what? Financially, like, it's not very how is convenient. It, how, how is it any easier than <laughs> plugging in a box or putting a disc in your fucking machine? How is that easier, you know? Redeeming a yeah. fucking code on your they're, phone. They're trying and, to push the, you know, uh, no updates, no uh, that kind of shit. Because, you know, you get home and you sit down and put in a game and it has to download for 20 minutes it sucks but yeah, it's, what a terrible tragedy yeah exactly right it's like oh my god my life is over instead <laughs> i gotta wait for google to i will happily yeah i don't in, that doesn't uh, bother me plus most of the time because i don't play stupid online games anyways you can just hit play without the update yeah and yeah start, that's true you know I prefer waiting it out but yeah yeah me too i almost but, always do but i'm just saying the options yeah, there the options wait there for shit. what are you talking about yeah. man like unless you're playing an online game but i feel like they're just fucking like none of those things, those like ritualized aspects of physically playing a game, are to me burdens. You know, I like I like no. that kind of stuff. I like carrying around like cases it's, with the games that I'm playing right now. You know, I, like I see it as the, it, it's different, obviously, from the days where you just slam the game in, turn on, and it goes right. But you plan for that, so I know I'm. You know, when I get home, I pop in a disc or yeah. whatever, let something start downloading while I do yeah. my other shit. And yeah, it's not the end of the fucking world. Most of the time, it's barely noticeable, frankly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I Fuck I definitely and would never, in any circumstance in life, exchange, you know, the visceral beauty of a physical product That's the thing. for like, convenience. Like, I I'm fucking, not that, that guy in no, books oh, and no, movies. And none, yeah. none of those things. So this is not for me. Like, it's, I object to the very notion of it. But if it was, like, it does. it's not even for the person it's for because it's a piece of shit that doesn't achieve the goals it sets for itself, right? Like, yeah. you want to be fucking convenient, then you, know you got to... Yeah, we've said it before. It worked best for turn-based games, but... I suppose so. <laughs> Nobody would fucking... <laughs> but it would work best if they pulled a Microsoft and they're like, all right, you fucking pay the subscription fee. Perhaps you pay 130 bucks up front, but you have access to a library of games. Even if it's right. a shit library, if it's 30, 40 things, then yeah. that probably is 
closer to a reasonable prospect even if again it's not for me it's i know so many people with xboxes that still come here to buy games even though it's on yeah. game like outer world really yeah. even yeah. though it's on game pass yeah yeah that's, like julian and all those guys like no yeah I'm, I'm definitely not convinced that most people unless they're taking a shit or going for a jog are so sold on convenience that they would sacrifice the long list of things that mm-hmm. they would have to right never mind even just from an aesthetic perspective that it's ugly and sterile it's like the fucking video game equivalent of fast food like that's true and I love fast food so that's <laughs> me know, too an unfortunate comparison it pains me to make but <laughs> fast food's better than stadia okay. you get more joy from fast food than Definitely. stadia yeah. yeah like I'm I'm already bothered enough that my playing PC games and I fucking yeah, you, you know I'm all that. about the PC but it bothers me that everything's digital and that's digital which the only difference being that you're downloading the files as opposed to streaming the game but in terms of game ownership it's still in the same category you really are just owning a license for it i think which i when fucking you, hate when but, you think about it though like what's the big difference between something you buy digitally and something you buy physically still the digital file has a physical place to live it's on your hard drive or it's on yeah. your disc at the end of the day Space i mean is nowadays finite, right, though, buddy? The, like, it, it matters even less or the difference is even like less nowadays because even though you're buying the game you're buying base game 99 percent of the time you buy a game now those files on the disc is like 1.0 and there's yeah, a sure. day one patch sure, sure. you're which, right absolutely absolutely but in you know 30 years we'll never 10 years maybe we'll never at the end of the day though to update but i guess the point i'm just trying to get at though is yeah. like every fucking thing is technically both a f- everything is technically a physical product as much as it is a digital one it's a video game right, right but it's right. got a physical p- and you're telling me like you know if you're going to compare physical to digital games like why not take the thing that comes I'm, with its I'm, own that's, storage that's its own fucking I'm, place I'm in to the live camp right? where if i'm paying the exact same price i will gladly take or i prefer to have a disc even if it's just a box and a disc yeah. i would yeah. take a fucking box with a download code yeah I for guess a I pc would too, game frankly, yeah. rather than you know than just nothing yeah. even if it's just a plastic box with a fucking yeah. code or a USB stick or an USB, SD card, click, right? Like that would be cool. That would be fucking yeah, man. cool. Yeah, USB I, sticks. I think so. Fucking games on I, them. I think also Custom another point I, I read uh, somebody make is that uh, games are not small anymore. You know, no. Even for massive like hard drives nowadays, that They're you can get bigger like, and bigger. games, you can't Foul really have that are, many. Yeah. The library of games I own, you can't fucking possibly have it installed on a on a PC at one at one time. Never. Not that you can have it installed in a console either, but right. We're we're, we're hitting like a weird a weird um i don't know what to call it but the new consoles are going to have ssds yeah. which are a hell faster of a lot faster smaller. i've been using ssds for years now in pcs but they're more expensive because it's it's better technology right it's newer so to get the same amount of space it costs more money which yeah. they've come down to some degree recently but the fucked up thing is now so the new consoles Instead of having bigger hard drives, they're going to have the same as, let's say, last gen or this gen, whatever, will be like mostly one terabyte, but they'll be, they'll just be faster. But uh, you're not increasing the amount of storage you have, but the game files are getting bigger and bigger. So, yeah, I don't know what that, how that, you know, if, how's that going to work? Uh, yeah, like, right? Like even how, having, how you, how having Call of Duty work? and yeah. Red Dead installed in the same machine takes up 400 gigs It just cripples it right, right away. Yeah. yeah, you have like nothing left. Imagine if that was the, actually imagine the digital Grand Theft Auto files. 5. I think Grand Theft Auto 5, Red Dead 2, and uh, like yeah. the new Call of Duty, yeah. those three games will compromise any console's hard drive unless yeah. you put in like a two terabyte yeah. even one on your own. It's fucking massive. That, yeah. Secure is yeah. 45, 50 gigs even mm-hmm. on its own. Most games nowadays are like that. And just to say like, the problem doesn't get any better when you offload even more of those files onto your hard drive from a disk, right? Yeah. You would want as much as possible for things to have their own, like, storage medium, you know? Integrated, like... Honestly, it would work better if... Every, you know what's fucked? Maybe. Um, I saw some weird patent for the PS5 where they were developing these, like... Like, sort of, like, little SSD cartridges. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're fucking... Uh, could they're you games. imagine a PS5 would be, like, having, like, a cartridge that's, like, a little hard drive? Yeah, it's pretty because good. The, because the file sizes are getting yeah. astoundingly large. I think the Blu-rays are pretty efficient. Like, a double-layered oh, Blu-ray is pretty efficient in holding data. Probably go over 100 gigs on yeah, a double-layer yeah. Blu-ray, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah. it's still pretty pretty efficient uh, at this stage. So, yeah. probably it's going to yeah. be a while until... Uh, 
And I bet you they'll even come up with finer disks, too, that can hold more data. That's possible. I think the great advantage of disks is the lack of working parts. They're more preservable, right? Yeah, but the thing is with the SSDs are the same now in terms of comparison to like true, SSD true. and HDD. Mm-hmm. Like old hard drives have the disks and the needle, but SSD is like a flash based true storage what it's about like, like a, a switch cartridge what the fuck's that yeah it's that's flash based as well so it's yeah. like a, it's like a micro sd card so basically. there can't be there's no degradation of the data um i don't know for sure but um i know it is flash based they're very similar to like a micro sd card type of thing that's cool i like yeah. that yeah you know what i would be so fucking uh i would dig it so much if ps5 had like some kind of proprietary yeah. cartridge that's bigger, like almost like a little hard drive you know or a little less s- for each game. And it had like most of the files yeah. on there because what the fuck? What's the other option? Having a massive hard drive, they're putting SSDs in the new console. Yeah, so yeah, it won't be thing. a massive It has to live somewhere in the data. Story. Yeah, right? right? Like I, think, I would uh, pay more for that. A great that's fucking cool. thing would be going forward if, mm-hmm. you know, when they made it, when, suppose you wanted to buy a game. You could order a copy and they fucking press it for you. Yeah. You know? Pay a little bit more. I think that would be Even a sustainable if, uh, model, right? You can get the file, fucking download it, but if you want a disc with a case you, and yeah, shit, yeah. you pay 15 bucks more and they ship it to you, right? That's or you go idea. to a store like mine, you order it, you know? Yeah, yeah. If everything was special order, the margins would be higher, it would be better for everybody. Except for, I guess, me buying it. You know, the guy yeah, buying it might yeah. have to pay a bit more, but I don't think that's really entirely unjustifiable. It would also lead to, like, they would, you know, you buy a game now compared to like, look at these PS2 cases we have over there. It's mm-hmm. like fucking a nice beefy like thing, oh, yeah. nice pictures, fucking 200 page manual. Now you buy these like thin flimsy cases, they crack and they're yeah. shit. Yeah. It would make it so that, you know, when you buy a physical product, the expectation is that there's like some quality to it. Yeah. There's, there like, would a, be a higher quality product. Yeah, some involved, nice fucking right? art or like, you know. I still miss big box PC games. Yeah, me too, we buddy. say this all the time. I have a nice collection. Love it. Yeah. The Baldur's Gate the original one. You should oh, see the yeah. fucking manual in there. Holy fuck. <laughs> Nothing close to what you're getting today. I could not play that game. I was like, oh. I don't understand Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. I didn't even know that, that what that was <laughs> at that oh, no time idea. in my life. Yeah, so. not even a <laughs> clue. I still don't actually understand. There's some dudes here who want to play a D&D campaign. Are you yeah. uh, interested in something I, like that? Pff, I've never done it. I would yeah. love to, sure. It's pretty fun, yeah. actually. You just sit around and fucking one guy tells you what's going on and you're like, oh, this is what I do. You know, you, and you just roll yeah. the dice. Yeah. You roll dice when it's like uh, you have a skill. And there's a situation where you need to pass a check, you know? Right, okay. And based on your skill, you have to roll a certain number. The chances like get fight easier. or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. You swing your sword. If you roll a fucking five, you hit him or whatever. Nice. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun, especially when you're drinking, of course. Oh, I bet. Of it's course, yeah. One of those things that I think we sort of, we sort of just passed that, um, like, the popularity of that when we were born. Yeah. It also requires probably, like, a social group that we lacked when we were young, you know? Oh, definitely. Couldn't even find people to play video games with, actually, buddy. Yeah, Most I struggle with that, too. Yeah. Back when I actually wanted to play games with yeah, other people. Yes, yeah. Now I'm totally fine yeah. not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck is Stadia for, man? I think I that's really its know, biggest buddy. thing. Like, I really don't they say, know. I, I saw it's someone for on Google Reddit. Because, like, it's I, for Google, yeah, I think right? I mentioned this before. Like, yeah. what, what is your incentive for something like this? Like, it'd probably be, you know... I can't imagine it's cheap for Google to sustain even the facilities necessary Servers to make such a thing possible. And like, a lot of money yeah, for this their end game run. is the fucking marketable data they can harvest off your hours and hours of playing games. Oh, like for sure, you and Without I together probably this year yeah. probably played more than one thousand hours of video games, and like all of the specificities yeah. of our behavior in the midst of that is fucking worth money to somebody, buddy. Yeah. And when you play on their platform, what you're doing at the very least is signing away your fucking not that you had any right to that information in the first place, but you're no. giving it to them to market, right? Basically, that's their end game. So you're fucking being asked at the end of the day to sacrifice not only the fucking aesthetic pleasure of buying a physical game you know the right. beauty of doing so yeah not merely the fucking the technical competence of the machine sitting under your television but also yeah. fucking you know you're you're willing to say fucking i'll sell myself and my experience to google for a fucking convenience yeah so that they, they can make money off me fucking a way they wouldn't have done but otherwise like, right like convenience aspect of it it's so like yeah ugh, like what kind of good game can you you know people okay so some of the arguments people say you know i want to be able to play in any room of the house okay uh, i want to be able to play in like you know 20 minute bursts and like what good fucking experience from playing a game can you even ha- have and like mm. you know 
yeah. jamming out like 20 minute sessions at a time. I think you know, uh, I do that with my Switch, but the Switch is perfect for that. Like I'll go yeah. to my Switch for something like that if I have 20 minutes before bed or if I have 20 minutes before I have to leave the house or whatever, something like that. And there are tons of games that could work that way, but I think you're touching on though, like, like sell have that as a selling point, like yeah, just this like super convenience that is shit anyway. I think we're touching though on like what I think is really the biggest and most fucking acute problem with this concept and its fucking is that it's in its fundaments, you know, and like in its fucking bones is like Phil Harrison. We we actually put something up on our website a little while ago called the the problem with streaming or something right. to that effect, and yeah. the fucking biggest problem, like Phil Harrison himself says. Or one of the fucking... Some stupid asshole whose name probably isn't even <laughs> worth remembering, frankly. I don't Fair have any enough. respect for these people. Yeah. If you couldn't tell. Wow. But, uh, sure. you know, one of them rightly remarked... I think it was an EA executive, actually. Okay. Whose name, again, not worth remembering. Yeah. He remarked that, uh, you know, the kind of thing people are playing games on will determine the kind of game they're playing, of course, yeah, right? Like awful. Whether or not you're making something for a phone or a fucking PC is going to determine... You know, whether you're making a game for somebody who wants to play for 20 minutes or somebody who wants to play for five on the John or some guy who wants to sit there till four in the morning playing a fucking CRPG like fucking right. Disco Elysium, right? Like, it's a different audience. Yes. And you wouldn't be able to accomplish one on your fucking mobile device, you know? Right. That's just the way it is. Yeah. And if we're saying that this is what this platform is for, you know, for the people you just described, people who want fucking easily digestible, like, Da Vinci Code style video games, you know, <laughs> like the fucking equivalent of airport novels, yeah. the fucking equivalent of fast food, like the equivalent of Twilight in mm -hmm. video game form. If that's what this is for, supposing that's it did scary. become the future, that's a fucking that's a terrible thing. Scary it's terrible. Fuck you. Like, I don't want that yeah. future. Yeah. Man, that's yeah. terrible. Who no. wants that? I want it to fail for that reason. It encourages... 100%. Terrible fucking consumption habits and the consumption of terrible is, things. We've we've had like, the same criticism towards the Xbox Game Pass, right? Yes. That if you know yes. you're making all these games available for one low yes. monthly price, that the point will be to make games that you can make available for one low monthly price, right? Like <laughs> exactly, not a game that needs to sell at full price. You know, seventy nine 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 in our case in Canada. Yeah. Um, to recoup all the development costs, right? But that would be like a big budget AAA title that you know. Don't get me wrong. I love indie games and double A and all kinds of different games, but there's there's something about a high big fucking release triple A title, something like Death Stranding. Like have you ever seen anything like that before? Would Death Stranding ever be a fucking game to launch on Stadia in general? Like if you isolate Stadia as a gaming platform, let's say it existed solely on its own. Would Death Stranding be a feasible thing to make for that platform? No, it absolutely would not. It absolutely would not. I mean, maybe if they're selling the games at full price anyway, which is shit on stage. I don't think it wouldn't be financially feasible, nor would people consume it based on the no. fucking exigencies of the platform. And like, yeah. uh, there's yeah. an article here from a couple of years ago. Casual. Uh, I think uh, from from this from Forbes. That's his fucking reputation in my mind. The guy who was like, Fair I enough. just can't play hard games. It makes yeah. me into a... <laughs> Anyways. Like, it's any different for him than it was for us. It yeah. takes time to fucking figure out what you're doing. So he it's apparently not... made it through a couple of Souls likes without fucking hanging himself, which is a surprise for everybody involved, I'm sure. But uh, <laughs> here he is in this article a few years back, you know, after uh, Patrick Suterland or whichever fucking EA so douche in a suit. Yes. Yeah. Whichever guy was saying, yeah, nobody wants to play single player. Guy, right? Yeah, nobody wants to play single Fuck player games guy. anymore. This guy's saying, yeah, well, the single Straight. player games are dying, and that's okay. Like, while we may remember like single player games being better than ones that aren't single player like that's more because they burn out quick and we don't have time to get bored of them like just fucking vomiting out the stupidity of that well maybe single player games are dying but like other ones are really just as good anyways otherwise it's your prejudiced fucking mindset talking right like not only has time evinced the falsity of his fucking worldview because the very people he's citing in this fucking statement buddy, you know you're fucking, the single player yeah right <laughs> Just unbelievable but yeah just to speak to like i think this is all speaking to the same thing right like there's this fucking mindset that like we almost take it for granted that like arcane like fucking big long titles that take time to complete and mm. money to build and fucking effort in every fucking respect or somehow you know out of fashion that we're moving away from that that fucking well you know like people like microsoft fucking are encouraging that companies like stadia are encouraging yeah. that douchebags yeah. like yeah. this You're just right. fucking trumpeting fucking mediocrity from the fucking you know yeah even just from the towers just like or the, like the basic you know and and i'm not i like multiplayer games a lot more than than you probably do yeah i don't like them at all <laughs> but yeah yeah exactly so um but the fucking the whole thing of a multiplayer game just being basically you kind of 
opened my eyes to that idea of a multiplayer game is basically it's like an empty shell of something that requires you know player interaction interactive I think so. I think so. interaction like we always say right whereas a single player game is something that exists on its own you know it has its own um like you always say it has its own yeah. inner you know workings and and whatever than anything it just makes me so happy to see that we're here in 2019 and we've had a ton of good single player yeah. games come out this year but like, just to to return sorry to cut you off to no, return no. to our original fucking point the point i'm trying to make is the kind of experiences stadia does not cater to are not dead they're probably still the most prolific ones in our industry barring the fucking candy crushes and Fortnites of the world which let's be fucking honest buddy yeah do we, what do we have to say about that like not only in two not years good. will those franchises yep. be fucking dead and gone but they'll be a fucking dirty skid mark on the underpants of this it's industry funny right? how, like, uh, embarrassing you know yeah it's it's funny how people talk about like when you anytime someone talks about the history of video games or you know like the best games that have ever come out ever 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 and they reference games like ocarina of time super mario bros one to three and and all the it's only the single player games that get recognized as that you know what i mean like a multiplayer game will eventually just disappear and be forgotten because once people have existed in that social experiment for years and years it gets stale at some point right like i mean call of duty's still going strong but they have to come out with a new game every year and then how many call of duties does that end up like making you know what which titles of, of a series like that sort of call out to you which ones do you remember yeah none because they all just blend together as like this for sure. social experience like fortnite right i think there's a reason for that too right like when your fucking explicit purpose in a game is to accommodate the fucking participation of numerous mm -hmm. people you fucking it's necessary that you mitigate the importance and fucking relevance of each individual to that yeah. world right everybody has to be a fucking peon because <laughs> if they weren't then nobody could participate with each Man, other right like you know what i was fucking i was thinking about um a lot last night and i actually i think i might write something about this is that um because I've been spending a lot of time on Reddit seeing people bitch about, like, multiplayer games like, like Modern Warfare and, you know, even though, okay, the Pokemon is not a multiplayer game. But um, seeing the complaints and people saying it should be like this, it should be like that. And I know every multiplayer game has, like, a community. And, and the devs actively try and get involved with the community to sort of cater the game towards what they think or what, you know, will make the community happy in a sense. But... Now that we've been talking a lot about single-player games and the whole having, you know, a guy like Kojima with a vision and an idea in mind, something like, whether it's single-player or multiplayer, I don't think devs should totally be catering towards f the fucking community. Well, like, I feel like here's even in think, a multiplayer man. game, they make changes and people are like, oh, I don't like it because of this, I don't like it because of that. Well, fuck you then, like... No, I mean, like, I, I, I agree in a I fucking... I hate that sort of stance that, like, yeah, it, it's gone so much towards, oh, because we gotta what you're cater doing to in that case, we gotta though, make you happy, guys, like, we're listening to what you want, like, well, fuck what you want, the devs are, have the idea in mind of what this game is, why can't they just be in control mm. of what they're doing, and if you don't like it, tough fucking shit, like, I think, like, but then, I mean, you know, okay, let's, you know, they don't the real problem is that they're, they're treating it first and foremost like a consumer product based on right. this fucking false assumption that the things that sell the best the things that are most consumable are things that are designed to be consumed. Like, fucking things are good in themselves that, and that, therefore that they are the consumed, problem, buddy. Right? Yeah, you don't exactly. fucking set out yeah. with a boardroom style, like, fucking, let's hit these check boxes. Then the fucking idiots will just fucking absorb it like sponges. Right. Like, it doesn't work that way. You gotta yeah. make something good. People will buy it. That's how mm -hmm. it goes. Like, you need a fucking guy with an idea. But that's what I mean. You know? It, it, why can't, in a multiplayer game, it be like that? Like, when I see people crying on, you know, about the Call of Duty saying... It should uh, be, but, but I think though that it's it, that, when you make a game slow, that depends on other that. people's involvement, you need to take them into account. I guess. That's a flaw yeah, with that okay, style of enough. game making, right? Like you're right. It's no longer artistic when you need to take into account the consumer, you know, and any other sense right. that they understand it, but right? But can't like, you just ignore that and say I'm not gonna like? You could, but then I'm, maybe nobody will play your fucking game, which maybe you shouldn't have made a multiplayer <laughs> game in the first place. Fine, I agree. But, like, but this thing, some of the best multiplayer games that have ever come out, like, <clears> came out in the days where there wasn't really that same. Yeah, touché. you know, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I suppose it could. I feel like, you know, despite how things have panned out, like it's not impossible to think up some guy had a great idea of a fucking world that many people could inhabit together, and it fucking is not detrimental. It's not mm -hmm. like a mere contrivance to make money or make a storefront or to keep people glued to your shit. Right, like, that's possible. We just haven't seen it, right? Like yeah. maybe Monster Hunter World would be the closest thing I think to the fucking excellent implementation of 
multiplayer, like a faux live service game. Right. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, okay, like, disclaimer, I guess I'm more merely, like, talking about, uh, I guess not. I don't know. I was thinking, like, maybe I'm more talking about, like, competitive FPS games where they tweak things, like the guns and stuff. But I guess it could be said for any game that really requires multiplayer yeah. interaction with other players. The but problem is when you cater, when it exists first and foremost... It sounds funny to say about something that people are buying. Like, certainly in any right. given sense, it exists for people to buy. I don't mean nobody fucking is denying that. But the thing itself, when you make it, like, does it have a fucking goal in mind that all the parts you see and touch and play mm-hmm. fucking exist for? Like, they tend to communicate? Or is it there just to masturbate you, to make you feel good, like, to do exactly what you want? And if right. so, then fucking it can't be a good thing, man. I, I have that's, this... I have, sorry. Oh, that's it. That's it. I have this, like, <laughs> weird theory that... Because I've been playing competitive shooter style video games since very early days of that whole notion of competitive online internet multiplayer fucking shooters and i can't help but to think of like games like socom they came out in the ps2 days you know there was internet obviously because it was multiplayer but it's very archaic and and basic compared to what we have now but i feel like a game that came out back then let's say it had flaws definitely the soul Kong games had lots of flaws but they accepted it for what it was and didn't ask for it to change because that wasn't really as much of a thing back then yeah so now that everybody has this sort of it's almost like the developers sort of invite you to be like hey we're gonna be on reddit we're gonna be on this forum we're gonna be here and we want to hear what you think and we want to change it to cater to you and so people sort of have this like oh I have a voice now. Like, I can say how I want it to be. Whereas back then, that wasn't even really a fucking option. It was more like, you don't like this thing about this game, but everything else is good, and I still like it, right? Yeah. And you're sort of willing to live with what you don't like about I don't know. I have this, like, theory that maybe it's... Maybe you're you're just giving people almost... There's there's people out there who just like to complain and bitch and whine. You're just giving these people a fucking reason... I don't know. I just it makes me so angry that like at the end of the day I think that anything that's made to please somebody and not because it's a good thing in itself is is a problem. Not as right? good as something made that's, that is good yeah. in itself, right? Like at least we're getting off on that foot. You're making an inf- you're making a consumer product. Yeah. You're making something to appeal to titillate people, which yeah. is not as fucking good as making something that's making beautiful, something right? Something like, that maybe titillates the creator. In maybe his head. May, <laughs> maybe it titillates nobody or everybody, but yeah. that's aside the point, right? Like it, whether or not it accomplishes those goals, whether it makes money it, indeed, it should titillate everybody. It should make lots of money, right? Like, a beautiful thing should do that. But it should exist for its own sake, right? Right. You shouldn't make it to fucking titillate. You shouldn't make it to make money. <laughs> is titillate a real word? It is, yeah. What does that mean? It means to excite, you know? <laughs> Usually in a sexual sense. Why? T- <laughs> yeah. Titillation. Titillation. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I don't fucking think that, you know, we should accept that amusement is somehow a category like or a, cri- a criterion of quality rather like we sit around saying all the time in this fucking industry mm-hmm. and the people who cover it they're like well it's fun it's not fun like what does that mean shut the fuck up how old are you like that's not, oh, do we really use that word to describe anything in our lives anymore what does that mean substantively i guess like fun is another thing that's just very subjective like some, some people, people have, have fun, fun doing awful grinding things you know in rpgs some people have fun grinding mm-hmm. in rpgs do you want to grind in any rpg no I don't some want people do have shit. fun doing every bad thing that i could possibly list to yes, you right now in the whole true. universe that doesn't mean shit like fun okay some things like are not amusing and they're fucking painful to watch but they're good for it right like some yeah. movies and fucking works of art and fucking things in life just are not fucking easy or fucking pleasurable but that doesn't mean they're bad you know there would never be a Sekiro for sure if there was fucking only things that existed to make you feel good. To feel good. Yeah. Fuck. Fucking hedonist. <laughs> feel good. Convenient. Fucking acceptance. Safe space. You know, like, what kind of world do we live in? It's uh, fucking embarrassing. We're heading in a weird direction. Just fucking soft yeah. bastards. Yeah. Roly poly softies. Can't play hard games. Gotta fire Don Cherry. Make yeah. sure you get that guy off TV. Yeah. Yeah, he's a bastard. To be fair, I don't really like Don Cherry that I don't much. Care about anyway. Don Cherry that much yeah. either. Yeah. Some things are nice though. I really do uh, enjoy the, uh, you know, the way that uh, multiplayer, I guess, is integrated into Death Stranding. It's so sick, man. I fucking love the feeling of like your first trek through an area. Later yeah, on, especially yeah. these like mountainous regions, it's so shit. The first time through somewhere, it's like holy fuck. Like it's, uh, it's Just rough. A slog, like, it's eh? a slog. Yeah, but you learn like, you know, over time, like how to best fucking 
get through everything and then you're like anticipating when you connect something to the network there right right and fucking people shit just pops up there's zip lines yes. everywhere you're like yes success the ride home is gonna be fucking easy yeah. <laughs> well, yeah yeah i think it it nails uh, like yeah. a sort of multiplayer interaction that yeah you know isn't uh they typical it, it, yeah it's that cool that's a cool know? i'd love to see that more in the future yeah. single player experiences you know on a connected console there's the yeah. option for there to be like some kind of yeah, like That's in amazing. Souls. Honestly, in, yeah. nothing like it. Like it, yeah, it, it feels so cool to be, sort of loosely, vaguely, because you're not interacting one on one with other characters, uh, with other players. Sorry, but uh, just by liking the stuff that they build, yeah. you know, putting up structures, having yeah. them contribute to it, you contributing to others, it's. It's such a good feeling, yeah, it right? Is. It just feels so nice. It's like we're all yeah. we're all working together, yeah, but yeah, we don't good. need each other. Yeah. It's just nice to even fictionally, you know? like you see those other porters in the world, and you can wave at them. And it, I guess it's, I've never actually encountered there's that. There's like when you clear out a bandit camp, yeah, they fucking start going through the area again, you know, really, and uh, that you could wave at them, and they, you know, I, I never noticed yeah. that. It's good. It's uh, I guess they're supposed to be in the fiction, like who's building all the shit that you see. That makes sense. It's great. Yeah. Death Stranding is a phenomenal title. Yeah, it's so fun, man. Out of this fucking world. That Every game, time you man. think you understand the fucking game and you've seen it all, like it fucking just you're like, what the <laughs> fuck? Throw something. Yeah, new you're like you, some eh? crazy shit. Like, you know what was, happened uh, to me the other day it was strange. The what's the that big BT that's like a lion? Kind of it looks like uh. He's like uh. He's the one that seems to one? pop out in um the chapter three western area. Or in of the the, map, okay, yeah. so he was chasing me, and I just sort of ran out of the zone i guess i didn't mm-hmm. even know it was possible i ran like just far away okay. and i just avoided them yeah. i didn't have to kill they them. leave you alone after a while. yeah i didn't like i didn't know that was a possibility yeah, i was yeah. just running because i had to collect my shit like yeah. it was scattered on the other side of the yeah. fucking mountain yeah, that's right what happens, I, yeah. so I, I got there and it was like oh i guess i avoided them and i was like yeah. i didn't even know i could do that yeah. i was like cool <laughs> yeah yeah you can avoid them for sure it's pretty yeah. easy actually but uh yeah, the rewards that, yeah. for fucking killing them are yeah, like you I need that chiral uh, crystals to build right. fucking everything, and you get a ton. That's your main I, source of them. I didn't even. Yeah. I didn't have any of my shit because my. Uh, I don't know. The, yeah. All my stuff fell off. Did you get the uh, backpack uh, grenade pouches? I did. Yeah. yeah. Those yeah. are really good because carrying yeah, grenades yeah. is like most tons of my. Of grenades, yeah. yeah. Now you carry like tons, and you I got an extra BT battery gun or something. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Anti. I think uh, the non-lethal assault rifle is the only weapon I really use, and yeah. the sh- and the riot shotgun too. They're really good. Because they come with blood bullets later, oh, and yeah. they're good against people too. You, there's, I don't like. There's no point to use the lethal weapons. It seems like, except on the battlefield uh, levels. Well, unless you want to cause a void out there. Yeah, <laughs> unless you want to. Yeah, it's cool that there is that option. It's cool. Yeah, I'm just afraid of destroying my precious. Exactly, structures. that's the thing, right? Yeah. Ha! Huh. Look at that. Another parallel Metal Gear Solid. They give you the yeah. option to kill, but it's yeah. a little detrimental, yeah. right? Yeah. It's yeah. easier yeah, to sort of just not yeah. easier, but it's. Yeah, it's easier, sure. Yeah, yeah. It, it's sort of less, uh, yeah. you know, less annoying to just figure out how to sneak by. Yeah, it's excellent. You man. could go guns blazing in Metal Gear Solid games, but you get fucked because they send waves yeah. after you, and it, you don't have the, yeah, the amount of like ammo and uh, yeah, yeah. health to go. You into, can like, do it in Death Stranding battles, right? fairly well. Like you the could, yeah. Default, like the game on normal, it comes with auto aim, like it has right, aim okay. assist on and shit. But if you turn that off and bump it up to hard, it's uh. It's still like once you're kitted out, it's uh, definitely a challenging third-person shooter, and it, to yeah. me, it feels snappy and good. Like I love the fucking combat in yeah. that game. I don't know. I don't know what I, I did that battlefield about. segment the, the, yeah, the, the last night, and it felt it's sick. Just like any third-person yeah, shooter. Yeah, you can like run fine, and yeah. s- fucking slide and gun some guy yeah. down. Fucking yeah, it's really good. It was I, cool. I yeah. liked it. Yeah, it's fun. And the fights with the mules are super intense. They start yeah. to like flank you, and you have to. Yeah, it's really good. Different. Uh, I noticed the guys with the spears, the ones that yeah. throw them, yeah. and the ones that rush right, you yeah. and attack you <laughs> later on there's terrorists they have different guns and really and you get like yeah. a way to uh get rid of the bts like if you sneak up to them you can kind of like just stealth kill them no way i think it's for when you're transporting shit and you don't want to be you just turn around. into a badass at yeah it's point. cool yeah, yeah like, you can go like so, full-on yeah. commando you get these like gloves that help you climb but you can also punch guys with them like wolverine <laughs> it's fucking sick <laughs> You get a oxygen mask, so you're just fucking, you know, invincible. And you get, like, a backpack cover. You feel like a badass. Yeah, right? I haven't gotten that stuff yet. Oh, man, I'm starting <coughs> to think Death Stranding for Game of the Year. Like, I... Me too, yeah. There's so much to it, really. It's a great, yeah. great concept. Uh, so much, you know, everything about it, I think, is fantastic. I really don't like, uh, you know, I don't understand the criticism at all. Like, I see people playing it, though. And, like, you know, you feel like... Just because it's popular to, to 
you know, yeah, it meme is. it and fucking make fun of it. it takes That's like, all. It's unforgiving. It, like, it allows you to progress, but it's unforgiving if you don't bother to learn the systems, right? Like, you can right. fucking, you know, you're not supposed to be trekking it through the snow with shit that can break because the snow destroys it. You're not even supposed to be trekking around with huge fucking piles on your back yeah. at all, right? Like, well, yeah, yeah. It tells you right away you're not supposed to. Yeah. And it teaches you how to avoid those situations. Exactly. And even when it gives you, like, when you're, you know, for example, if you've got a carrier, you can't use the zip line. But right in front of the zip line, you can fucking pack the carrier and everything on it onto your back momentarily. Use yeah. the zip line. Use the zip line. And then yeah. unpack, you know? And then unpack. Yeah, there's, exactly. There's literally no reason not to just efficiently fucking carry your shit. And, like, mm-hmm. that way you can fight. You can avoid things. You can it's climb like, well. A yeah. Huge part of it is yeah. just efficiently. Yeah. efficiently going about yeah. your business right yeah. whether it's yeah. carrying the packages trekking across the map like yeah. all that stuff put together yeah, yeah. even the combat like it's it's fairly you know it doesn't really resist you too much but if you get careless like the big bts can kill you in one shot right they eat yeah. you when you have a void out so yeah exactly you can't just dick around you gotta if you haven't noticed we fucking love this game yeah I love it, this game, it's yeah. fantastic yeah so what else man i had something funny happen last night actually what's that um, when I did that chapter four battlefield thing, so yeah. I actually felt like an idiot. Um, if you remember right at the beginning, uh, before you go outside, you're, uh, you get to South Knot city or whatever it is. And die hard man is like some shit's going on outside. You need to go outside now and see what's going on. Right. And I was like, all right. So I went to the, the terminal and I decided to take on some of the orders, oh, the standard shit. orders, like yeah. an idiot, right? I pull, I, I just unlocked the truck, so I brought the truck up, loaded it with a ton of stuff. Nice. And then I fucking drove out, and I'm like, Let's go check out what's going on outside, <laughs> right? And then before you even get outside, it, like, pulls you into a cutscene, and the truck flies up <laughs> in the air with me and <laughs> sitting in it. Fuck. And <laughs> <laughs> then it brings you to that like battlefield thing i don't know what the fuck that deal is with that but it was weird eh it's like a beach where all the soldiers who died t- together fucking they mix together their beaches and it's like some hellish do you remember the the cutscene after that they said that uh you were gone for like a minute but yeah, norman yeah, reedus yeah. is like what the hell is gone for like two hours yeah, like because you were on a beach is they're it like some kind dimensions. of like limbo or something it was the so beaches weird. are like, like fucking it seems like creatures with fucking consciousness have like a beach like they're fucking they their car their soul fucking yeah has like a like each person has a separate beach they explain to you right, right yes i remember that yeah, but like when a bunch of people fucking die together in like a similar situation and there's all these like feelings of hatred and resentment their fucking beaches can be like battlefield you know, all mushed together <laughs> and they just like live out this loop for all eternity oh my yeah God. yeah it's so yeah. fucked but anyway after that when i got back um all seven of the orders i I accepted all the the all the delivery packages were scattered just outside like when you come out of that area right nice so I was like fuck so I bring the truck in I start picking them up but a lot of it's really heavy so I can only pick up a couple load it in grab more load it in and it felt like every time I was doing this that like it just never ended I'm like yeah. there's so many things and I actually stopped playing it and there's more stuff I have to pick up yeah. and sure, load into the sure. truck before I head out I'm like Jesus yeah it's a pain this is so bad yeah, yeah. but that was like my fault too right yeah Stupid. you never there are little situations you shouldn't like that for sure. technically you shouldn't take that many orders on at once I only did it because depends. I have the truck now yeah. right if it's on your route like I find the best thing to do is to like you know have a main destination in mind and then and on the way there along stop. the way yeah, yeah. Whatever. yeah I always I always yeah. look for somewhere to stop on the yeah. way if possible right it's also like most of the well I wouldn't say most of them but not everybody is even worth leveling up all the way there's only like a few that really have some shit that you see, want see that's the thing I yeah. don't even know which ones I assume one's like the engineer maybe because he could probably um, build cool shit I don't know if he has the craziest shit you no? can look it up uh, they all have some of them are arbitrary like uh, the junk dealer gives you the speed skeleton like yes, how the fuck would yeah. you so okay. they all have different shit so just look up the guys that have the stuff you want and do and, them and do them and yeah. yeah I, I found the Conan rest. the other day that was yeah. funny with the otter hat yeah he, he has a uh, good shit actually the, yeah. gren- the grenade pouch and he has an upgraded one after two so his is worth doing yeah. Yeah. and the cosplayer is really hard to do he has the backpack cover which is big big right. big uh, game changer because you can strap shit on your back and it can't fall off anymore if the cover is uh, not broken oh really so you can get fucking sucked away for a bt fight and you don't even have to care it's like you just keep on trucking you that know? is fucking convenient yeah shit. it's nice yeah it's hard to unlock but it's worth it yeah and it doesn't I, tell you at all <laughs> i got to the cosplayer but yeah 
I guess you probably have to do a couple of deliveries for them before you unlock that, yeah. right? Or rather, Conan is the cosplayer. Is, the other guy's yeah, called Conan the Collector. Conan is the cosplayer. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the oh, Collector. Oh, you're talking yeah. about the Collector. Yeah, the Collector. He's like in the in some cliffside somewhere. He's hard to find, but he's uh, he's worth doing. Yeah, fucking. After this, I'm gonna play Star Wars for sure. Uh, what about you, man? What's next I, on your? I, I don't even want to finish Death Stranding. I, I want to play Star Wars now, but like. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I also don't want to leave it behind yeah. because I definitely want to finish Death Stranding. It's super worth it like it's definitely a worthy title of uh sinking in the hours and yeah. i'm having fun so me too it's not like it's hard right I find like every time you take a yeah. little step forward in the story like what you're doing and the place you're doing it in changes fairly drastically you yeah. Know? yeah yeah it's 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 not like it doesn't get as it's not getting stale right like no, it's yeah, you changing see crazy shit cut scenes right? are kojima's yeah fucking yeah. thing right he's you, got tons of cool cutscenes. yeah oh, it's such a great game it is yeah. i should probably bang up pokemon because i'm at like the fifth i think the i i have five badges so i'm gonna Might you know well round finish, out yeah. the next three i could probably finish it pretty quickly and then uh get yeah. back into death stranding a bit person. kind of difficult to sort of follow up the uh last week in terms of all the hype and the you know the big pokemon releasing yeah, and so. uh star wars coming out but especially given the fact that we haven't actually played the Star Wars game yet. Yeah, yeah. But there is a good opportunity to shit down Stadia's throne. <laughs> there definitely is. So what are your thoughts on this so far? What are your um, impressions? I was kind of excited for it to release because I kind of... I, I, I couldn't wait to hear about it because I already know most... Mostly the, the sort of opinion on it is that for people in general who play video games and like video games um don't see you know a real good reason to get into stadia because if you like video games if you're a fucking you know quote-unquote gamer someone who likes to play video games chances are good you have at least a console of some sort or a pc right so the barrier of entry is not fucking astounding. You can buy a fucking Xbox One S for like 200 bucks. You know, if that's your prerogative there. Um, ah, God. Well. It's good times. It's been a uh, weird, uh, I guess, week after the... Uh, yeah. Fucking, like, why couldn't Star Wars come out yesterday? Yeah, I don't know. As opposed or to... Or like a week uh, from now. Or next week, yeah. yeah. There's rather no than December on the same either. day as Pokemon. Like, it would have yeah. given us time to... Like, a week after COD. Yeah. Yeah, or that. And Outer Worlds and Death Stranding. Fuck. Fucking guys. Yeah, it's been a crazy, like... It end has. of the year holiday rush. It's been good, yeah. If you will. A lot of great games. A lot of great games. Tons of good games. Love the Outer Worlds. Love Death Stranding. I played a lot of great games this year, man. A lot yeah. of great games. So many fucking excellent games. I can't help but, like, Bloodstain is one that just, yeah, Bloodstain is, like, stands out really too. fucking stands out. Yeah. Another because, one I want to go back to, sorry, continue. Yeah, no, no, I was just going to say, because it's just it's just a, a 2D game, like a side-scroller, yeah, yeah. which typically I don't... I, I have a hard time getting into side-scrollers nowadays, yeah. because it's... Let's be honest. We've come a long way since side scrollers, yeah, sure. you know. I think there's a purity, purity to that genre, though. That's the thing, yeah. And yeah, to side scrolling action games. Yeah, for it to stand out that much is. Uh... All right. Well, it's been fucking fun. Yeah, I have to uh, get back. We were to uh, my milder on Stadia collecting. than I expected, eh? Well, <sighs> not I as don't know. raucous, not as. Like, rah, rah, rah. I, I think we heated up at some point, but, well, I mean, what's there to be said at the end of the day? At the end of the day, we just hope it goes away quietly one day because it's yeah. just, there's nothing good about it. If there was, like, one or two good things about it, then we could objectively say, you know, like, eh, it's shit for this, but it's okay yeah. for this. But, like, I don't see there being any fucking positive to Stadia. I like, straight up at think all. It Zero, work. nothing. Like, there's nothing good about it. Yeah. No, I would, pr I would have totally preferred if Google was like, hey, we're going to come out with this console. Yeah. Like, fuck, whatever, man. Me you want to go out? I don't think that would be a smart idea, going against Microsoft and mm -hmm. uh, Sony in 2019 or 2020. But if Google wanted to push that endeavor and try it out, we'd probably buy the fucking console. Why it. the fuck not? Especially if they had right? a game. 
even if it was like more in line with like a Nintendo where it was like cheaper and like a yeah. low, lower yeah, spec yeah. kind Some of kind of unique concept yeah as long as it wasn't like yeah. mobile filled shovelware shit yeah. that's, Honestly, that's like the only they, caveat <laughs> even if they made a console that was made to play mobile games on your TV they might be in a better position than with you know what that shit. would probably have been a good <coughs> decision for Google stimulate like the production yeah. of some good like it would support games. all the Android yeah. Play Store stuff all those kinds of games maybe make like a more yeah. basic controller instead of that Nintendo Switch Pro knockoff they fucking created that's actually pro- you should work at Google <laughs> you could have helped them out I don't know apparently Phil Harrison knows what he's doing so we'll just uh, we'll sit back and make a bag of popcorn and, and see how that works out for Google and uh, good old Phil Harrison on his third of third uh, three out of three pretty much uh, botch console Launches. He is the king of overpromise and undeliver. That's yeah. like he is literally the king of that. Can you imagine him, part of the PlayStation Three release, going over to Xbox and be like, "This is this is it. This is going to be my uh, the one I'll be remembered for." A good console launch, and then they got totally shelled and fucked. Did he launch the Xbox One X? I think he no. I think he was a part one? of he was a part of Microsoft when they launched or when they were launching the one. I'm he, pretty sure. he was responsible for the one. Not launch. responsible. I don't want to say he was responsible, but he was <coughs> with them at that time. He probably thought that was a fucking great idea too. Yeah, he was on basically on the losing side of. Everybody loves the uh, cameras yeah. on their consoles. Uh, you know, TV, motion. television. No, oh, you move and play TV. games like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, TV. That's, TV. Fuck. The only people who believe motion control is a good idea is people who fucking literally never played a video game. Yeah, you know what's crazy, man? How f- like look at the Xbox One from when it's it was released till now. It's like a totally different. They rebranded. They yeah, basically right. Yeah. Like Xbox One with Connect for TV, sports, football, America. Oh man, they're embarrassing. Yeah. That, uh, you know that game that everybody's talking about—the one that they said the, they announced with the transgender protagonist—and they're like, "Yeah, we're super diverse now." You like, know, what? I don't even know what game that is. Yeah, I don't know the name of it either. Uh, okay. I don't give a shit to learn. It's probably um, not exciting. No, it's not. It's <laughs> or else we not. would have remembered. It's not. It's in the style of uh, "Life is Strange." So, oh, oh, okay. That game made me cry. Tears yeah. of tears of privilege. Life is propaganda too. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> but uh, you know, they were talking a lot about it. This this protagonist and uh the the, the devs openly admitted like yeah we didn't start out thinking that the protagonist would be that way but after some consultation with you know fucking (laughs) propaganda groups we decided yeah yeah, it's like (laughs) fuck you people are fucking shills of the highest but that's honestly like the fucked up thing if they did set out with that in mind like this character is this person at least that's I'm sure they would do, be doing it anyways for that, the same yeah, reason, but it right, compounds yeah. the irony fucking exponentially. Yeah. That's how it ended up, right? Fair like, enough. fucking so disingenuous. Yeah. I would be... Fair enough. If I was fucking some member of a group that somebody was pandering to, I would be fucking... In, I would be so pissed. Like, what's wrong with you people? You know, you're trying to sell me my own fucking... My own identity, <laughs> essentially. Like, fuck you so hard. Just make a game, man. What's what's so complicated? You gotta sit there and be like, you know, everybody really wants to take a look in the mirror every time they play something. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not in that camp. Fuck I'm me not neither, buddy. I just I'll don't give like, a fuck. Who has yeah. ever thought that, wow, this protagonist doesn't look like me? My favorite part about playing video games is not being myself. <laughs> I just, like, I... To me, like, who walks around yeah. thinking about this shit? Who does that? That's another story. Just shut the fuck Entirely. up, you know? You'd oh. feel a lot better about life if you didn't fucking spend the whole day thinking about thinking yourself about as the you center of the universe, yeah. right? Like, yeah. My identity. Yeah, that's where we're at, man. Yeah. We're at a weird fucking stage. Yeah, so Stadia, Microsoft. Google and Microsoft, you know. They I both guess, suck. Yeah, they're, they're kind of terrible. I mean, I'll be honest. I fucking love Windows. Like, I would buy... A, Oh, no doubt. I would never use I think it goes without saying Mac, that we're referring to, like, the Xbox game division. But, yeah, that's the which, thing, Which, like, right? I know Microsoft's, like, $122 billion a year revenue is yeah. worth, like, four. You know? Yeah. They're fucking... It's, it's like peanuts. That's why. Like, I don't necessarily hate Microsoft, but I fucking can't stand Xbox. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, though, Microsoft, if you are yeah, such a person, go. has you covered. They have accessibility controllers meant for your fat, fat fingers. Yeah. Their other key fucking contribution to this console generation, you fucking idiots. <laughs> useless just, bastards. Cut all that out. Yeah. That's just that's the best part, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You get sufficiently influenced. Unleashed. Yeah. Unleashed. It's just fucking man, man. Look, you know, look back on this console generation. Like, even if you don't fucking, like, I'm not even From that crazy about. From the start until now. Yeah. 
I'm not even that crazy about a, a number of the PS4 first party exclusives. Although um, I do like a number of if them. If we right? go like, all the way back, I remember like Infamous Second Son was like okay, but I mean it was also closely frankly, like launch, I don't uh, care that much about Uncharted personally. I, I like The Last of Us, but I don't care that much one about I it either. Didn't even get through. Yeah, so like my a, I think my tastes have changed over this yeah, gen. Yeah, I'm not so keen on those like yeah. Western fucking action adventure games mm-hmm. most of the time, but uh, right, you know. There's something, right? At least there's something. Yeah. The point I'm trying to make is, what the fuck? If you look back on... E- even if that was all there was to PlayStation's contribution, like, there's fucking, from the East, like, just a still, heaping pile of stuff that we can't even begin to get into. Yeah. Like, so, so much excellent still shit. So much yeah. more than, than yeah. Microsoft What is, is there from Xbox? Yeah. There's Sunset Overdrive, Insomniac, fair enough, okay? You know what? If they continued the course with games like that yeah. over there, you know, yeah, even sure. I don't think Sunset Overdrive was amazing. But it was a but, cool concept but from it, exactly, Insomniac, it was the developer. Right? Yeah, it's neat. Neat yeah. movement mechanics. That was a neat, neat game. But you they know. sort of flip flop and they. What lost did they make though? Like, what, what is there that I can play uh, Final Fantasy 13 in 4K on your machine? That's your fucking great yeah. contribution. Which I mean, con artist. Not to discredit, like that's that's a nice thing, but it's not. You know, it's it's not a way to push your newest console. You need new things too, right? You need. They're like the B grade, like super PC fucking console maker in my mind now. You Basically, know? yeah. Just make garbage yeah. games for stupid people. Fair enough. <laughs> but hey, that's what it is. What else can you say, right? Like, take I mean, Obsidian and Rare and all these they, fucking beloved developers and driving just... their good franchises into the fucking ground too, right? Like, I I feel like at least Sony knows, like, you know, maybe with Uncharted Four, they're kind of like, hey we kind of need to step away from this because you don't want to cheapen that, you know? Yeah. They went all last legacy with it though. Right? Like they got Halo Infinite coming out now. They're probably like, fuck, we don't want to call it Halo 6 because it's like at a certain point you're like, Jesus Christ, it starts to feel cheap and sound Man. cheap. It's like, ah, Halo 17. Even like, like, you figure you could fucking actually, know. like in all actuality, you can make an infinite number of games in the Halo universe. It's a pretty good universe, oh, I gotta say. I like it's like universe. Star Wars. Like, there's no limit yeah, man. to I'm not a, can... I'm not even a big fan of those games. I do yeah. like them, but uh, I, I like the universe. I, I got the book at home, you know, the Halo Encyclopedia. Yeah, yeah. I love reading that shit. It's yeah. sick. It's I like Halo. Great fucking, I really like It's really cool, like, kind of like they take, like, sci-fi and they, like, really extrapolate on present day shit, you know? Okay. Kind of like the Expanse. It's cool. It's not like really outlandish yeah. it's like taking today and like the same institutions right come to govern the sit like the sort planet of just and like yeah, yeah. i like the Halo universe yeah it was a, it was and they could make so many games i guess i'm trying to say you know yeah they oh, can make tons, games from a different yeah. perspective from different kinds of characters yeah. they can make a game from the covenant's perspective you know if they didn't downplay their importance at the stage yeah they could do why well, they've done it before actually yeah, yeah like, the whole part in Halo like, 2 is from from the arbiter's perspective yeah right? yeah even uh reach they did which was yeah, i think from the, the first one or odst i can't remember which one yeah. but you weren't a spartan in you that weren't one. like yeah. yeah you weren't uh um, i think in you reach, weren't master you were chief really reach. you weren't him so yeah. in odst you're a drop trooper just a yeah, fucking you go. Uh, unsc drop trooper right but uh, they can make all kinds of cool shit. But I think the problem is then once you abandon, like suppose they were to make a game in the Halo universe, they didn't call it mm-hmm. Halo. They called it like fucking UNSC Trooper or fucking whatever. You know, oh, they would never do that. They would never do that. Never but it could be amazing, never. right? It like could it could be a sick game. It, could it would be probably like, be like Star what if they Wars. They made like Star Wars where... Jedi Fallen Order in the Halo universe. You know, yeah, where you're like an arbiter. Fuck, it would there's just probably that's be... a great universe, man. To own the rights to that universe, that's a great treasure. You know, I you think could, so. You could do some good shit with that. I feel if like you had an ounce of integrity, just a fucking tiny ounce of integrity, nearly as much as the people you bought that shit from, i mean they could do know? the same thing in a sense that like they have their studio making you know the mainline halo games they could maybe put together another smaller studio to make like you said the jedi fallen yeah. order version right or even just do what jedi did even if you have halo on it just make a new kind of game buddy i promise yeah. you it'll sell better than fucking well they tried you know? with halo wars but yeah true honestly like I played one, and I want to play two. I don't think that those are terrible games, you know? I have no idea, because I haven't played either. They're cool. Yeah. Like, I know they're simplified RTS, but, like, I think that's yeah. a good way to do yeah, fucking they're, RTS they're on console. console. Yeah, they're console-friendly RTS, cool, which, man. I mean, if that's cool. what you're going for, I'm kudos, sure it could be Kudos to off. them. Yeah. That's one. Actually, there you go. That's Microsoft's contribution to this generation. Did uh, did they do that on uh, PS4? No, they did um, not. What? Like an attempt at console RTS, you know? Oh, no, no, Very no. rare I and cool. heard about that on the That's PS4. a brave thing, right? No, no, that's, uh, that's an interesting thing. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? For them to bring back Halo Wars and at least try it out, I think that was a cool idea. I don't know. I have this fucking feeling that Halo Infinite is going to be a pile of crap. I do too. And maybe it's not fair to say it's just a feeling because if you really go with what Microsoft has been doing lately, it 
It doesn't seem like it's out of the realm of possibility that Halo is going to be shit this uh, I think next it probably year. Will be shit. Yeah, it probably will be. <laughs> it probably will be, right? Exactly. Be. Like, I feel so, like I should go back and play a bit more of Gears as in spite of five? myself. The terrible Honestly, new one. just play um, play through the Act 2. I'm just going to put it on mute. Play so through Act 2. No, no, no. Seriously, like Act 2. Characters. I liked Act 2. Once yeah. I got to Act 3, I was like losing it by yeah. that point. I was like, ah. Yeah kind of lost its okay. steam there act two i did like though but as a total like package at the end of the day it's nothing that will be remembered hmm. you know i feel you yeah i feel you hmm. interesting yeah. week after the big uh, november 15 yeah there is so i guess we're gonna spend the next couple of weeks just cleaning up our 2019 release yeah i think uh, the docket, best eh? course forward is finish the games that we want to and uh start putting together our end of year game of the year uh top five maybe no- notable entries that yeah. uh, deserve to be glossed over and uh yeah we can yep. sort of go the course from there right i think it'll be a fun end of the year aside from the fact that it's our first end of the year speaking about <laughs> yeah i think so you know i'm excited for that man yeah. i'm excited for so me like I. it's already very clear like fucking secure and death stranding are my favorite games of the year mm-hmm. it comes down more to like my i don't know which of those like approaches to game design i prefer like i very much appreciate like we wrote i wrote so much about this year fucking the, the value of the souls born gameplay you know like the fact that it resists you and communicates this fucking the antinomia of creaturely being that every time you fucking move or change you age and fucking lose part of yourself this game's like fucking you know from a mechanical all the way to a conceptual level like fucking very well designed and fucking quite sublime i think but yeah death stranding like while it offers a more cinematic like non-gamey approach mm-hmm. it's also fucking conceptually dense it's got a fucking equally like fucking hard to penetrate loop that's equally fucking punishing in its own way you know even though it doesn't yeah. resist you to the same extent so like yeah. it really makes me question like my preferences like it makes me I mean, say like part of me wants to speak on your behalf and say Sekiro because of all the yeah um, all the stuff you wrote and just seeing you go through both games but at the same the time same you're reason, still though, not like, fully through Death Stranding yeah, yeah. so I'm gonna fucking finish Sekiro actually I'm at the last true, boss yeah, now the I'm gonna finish there. him and the Demon of Hatred and then I'm gonna fucking decide what I like better yeah, yeah. they're both excellent feats of world building that's the thing yeah. you know I think it's the you couldn't go approaches. wrong that's yeah. the fucking thing right like no yeah. matter which one you pick you, yeah. you you can't go wrong maybe it's a silly question to ask which is better you know yeah it's that's the thing it's, better? it's a like, very tough thing yeah. to say it right they're essentially diverse they're not like yeah. in the same category such that you can say one is a better like version I would, of you would say they're both like a 9.9 9 out of 10 <laughs> I would I would say that <laughs> right I would People say things like, well, no game deserves a 10. No, nothing is perfect. Like, is that what a 10 means? A perfect thing? Nothing in the fucking world that's this, concrete is yeah. perfect. It, it can't it, be. It, that's not what it means, though. It's, no. It's as good of a version of itself as it can as be. As it that's can what it means, possibly right? be. Like, yeah. there's not that it's almost a perfect nothing thing. Like, it can a platonic do to be better. game. Like, yeah. there's no such thing, you fucking... Why well, even have a ranking Why have an yeah. out of 10 score if 10 is basically not a possibility, right? So, what do yeah, you do? That's not what 10 means to me at all. Yeah, no. It can. 10 means it's, a, it's yeah. the best executed version of itself yeah. as it could be, right? Like, there's very little, if yeah. anything, it could do to be better is the way I look at it, right? The, the, the guy couldn't have executed his idea better. Yes, yes. You know? Or maybe his idea is the best version of itself. You can't see where it could be flawed or whatever, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel that way about review scores. They're metaphors, right? At the end of the day, it's yeah. a metaphor for the quality of something. You know, review scores are stupid. Yeah. Just a good way to communicate at a glance what you've. That's what you the mean, thing. Right? That's all I do is just look at the score. I don't. I don't feel like reading about somebody else's yeah. opinion of the game because I'd rather form my own opinions. Yeah. But just to, you know, go on Metacritic or see. A, yeah, man. Just sit, like gloss over it. It's sure. One thing, right? See, sort of. Uh, so you want to settle her up? Yeah, Done. let's. Uh, Thank let's you guys for tuning in. Close her down. Thank you very much. If you got this far, <laughs> have a beer for us and have a great fucking evening. Yeah, let's play some fucking Star Wars. Yeah.